This is part four in a series of videos about my new 300 gallon tank from Custom Aquariums. If you missed the first three parts, I'll link to a playlist for the project down in the video description. When we last saw the tank, it was being loaded onto a truck at the Custom Aquariums headquarters up in Wisconsin. About a week later, it finally arrived at my door. Getting the crates off of the truck was a bit of a challenge, but we made it work. Then it was just a matter of getting them up the driveway and into the garage. The first crate was the tank, and the second one was the stand, canopy, and sump. And the whole time we were doing this, I was just wondering what everything looked like inside. Fortunately, it was fine. When I took all the wood off of the outside, this is what I found. I had seen examples of this packaging on my tour and it's definitely effective. But let's see how it looks once all this stuff has been removed. The tank is 96 inches long by 30 inches high by 24 inches deep. The glass on the front, back and bottom is 5 eighths of an inch thick and the front panel is their ultra clear glass which is low iron. The sides are both half inch thick. There are seven holes drilled in the tank. Two holes in the middle for the overflows, four smaller holes for the returns, and then one custom hole in the bottom corner for draining the tank, as I mentioned in my last video. Those overflow holes will have something called a stealth box attached, which is an option that Custom Aquariums offers. It allows you to add a way to quiet your overflow system using a Durso, Herbie, or Bean Animal setup, depending on your preference. I'll get into more detail on that in a future video. The tank shipped with a pad underneath it, which is the same pad that will go under the tank when it's on the stand. Speaking of the stand, this is what they call their contemporary stand in black. It's kind of hard to really see it well out here in the garage, but it's very nice. The doors have locks and there are no visible hinges. If you notice the cardboard boxes inside the tank earlier, one of those boxes contained the stealth box and other plumbing, and the other two were full of these suction cups that will be used to move the tank. Those are actually a rental. I'll be sending them back to custom aquariums when I'm done. And last but not least, Here's the sump. I pulled it out of the stand and moved it down here to the basement so that you could actually see it. It has three parts. The first part is this dual sock tub that has two huge filter socks hanging in it. Those overflow into the second part which is the baffle tub. That tub has five baskets in it for media and is also where my heaters will go. And then the last tub is a reservoir tub that can be used for lots of things. In my case it's mostly extra water volume but we'll see. So now I just have a ton of work to do to get everything ready before I move out the old tank and move in the new one. Speaking of which, I mentioned this back in the first video, but if you're anywhere near central Ohio and are willing to come help out with the tank move, it's going to be happening Sunday, October 7th, that's 2018 for anybody watching way in the future. It should be very quick, especially the more people we have, and I'll be providing pizza and beer. And who knows, you might even be in a video. If you can help, please leave a comment below, or even better, send me an email. You can find the address on the About page of my channel. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, have a good one.